Right, here we go then. Another exciting task um, here at the school where we love to grow our, um, our pumpkins. And uh, I think at this point I ought to just kind of run a bit of a slideshow, some pictures of some of the pumpkins we've, um, we've grown over the years. And uh, we have had some amazing, amazing crops. So we thought we'd show you what we, um, what we do, how we do it. Uh, we've got um, two lots of seed here we're going to sow. We've got some of this um, Atlantic Giant uh, packeted seed here that we've, um, I think we've had this donated to us uh, actually um, as part of the, um, I think it was the RHS School Gardening. Someone gave it to us anyway. Thank you very much, whoever it was. Um, so we're going to sow some of those, but we've also got some seeds here that we collected from our own pumpkins uh, last year. And we are going to have a go at growing some of them. Um, you, you kind of get to learn which ones are um, are going to be kind of viable seeds and which ones aren't. This one here is kind of soft and dry, and you can just feel, it almost feels like it's hollow inside. I'm going to reject that one. These guys here, though, from last year's crop, thick. You can feel that there's something bursting in there, wanting to come out. So um, I'm going to do two two seeds per per pot. And I'm going to do them on their edge, so we're just going to press them just into the compost like that. Um, this is reputedly the way, the best way to um, uh, to grow pumpkins by, by from seed is to actually push the edge, um, push, push push the seeds in on their edge like that, and then we'll just cover them with a little bit of um, little bit of compost. I have grown them just you know with the um, the seeds lying flat um, and we've had you know reasonable germination but um, we've you know we, we find that perhaps we get slightly better germination if we grow them on their side um, not absolutely sure of that but everyone tells me that's the way to do it so who am I to argue just want to give you a bit of a close-up on these um, pumpkin seeds that we've grown and collected from our own pumpkins last year this one here is a little bit thin and feels hollow doesn't feel like there's much in there and it's quite if you look at it sideways on there's not much to that one. Compare that to this one here, if I turn him on his side, can you see he's thicker? And it, just to give him a slight, not a squeeze really, but I can feel that there's something solid in there that's bursting to get out. So that's a good one and we're going to just push him gently into the compost there and get another one of those firm, thick firm seeds and just cover them over like that. That's all they need. Um, and then uh, we've got them in quite a large pot there because we're doing this in early April and really we don't want to be planting these out until where we are in the um, in South Wales in the, in the UK. Uh, we can get frosts um, until latish May. So we're looking to really to have a, a good enough size pot to um, keep uh, keep them growing until um, about five weeks time something like that um, we do two in a pot partly to allow for um, you know if one of the seeds doesn't germinate uh, but if they both germinate we found that actually you know two of them growing together and as long as we've got a good size hole with plenty of compost in they will grow happily um, together there and we just get a good good heavy heavy crop so there we go that's how we uh, how we sow the seeds I'm going to do a few more of our um, our uh, kind of own grown uh, seeds. There's another reject one there that's soft inside. Oh, that's nice and thick and juicy. Um, and I'm going to do some of the uh, the packeted seed just in case ours don't come up, but I feel confident that they will. Um, and then the next step, uh, while these are, are growing away in the greenhouse, we'll give them a quick, um, give them a quick water now in a second. Um, while they're growing away over the next month, we need to prepare the ground. We need to, um, um, you know, put lots of compost, uh, create a bit of a, um, a pumpkin mound, and I'll show you how we do that on one of our, our next videos. Okay, see you. There you go. So we've got four of our own, four pots of our own uh, seed sown, and four of the packeted um, pumpkin seed sown, and we're just going to give them a quick drink. And let that soak in. As you may have seen if you've watched any more uh, of my other videos, I prefer to do two light waterings rather than one heavy one because uh, one heavy one can wash the compost away or wash even the seeds away. So um, just a light watering, let that soak in, 
and then perfect look at that and now we're going to pop those into the into the greenhouse along with all the other babies and see how we get on